to say, oh, life is not fair. And why? Oh, eh, why should MFA be the one doing well? Why should Jesse be the one doing well? It, it tells you who you really are. You feel that you deserve better, better. than Jesse. That That's the way you are bringing your pan. Of course. You are being envious. Of course. But the true state should have been that you are happy for, for them. Him. Okay. You are happy and truly happy, happy for the person. It shouldn't be life is not fair. It should be, oh, Nyami is a prophet of God. Oh, you're the Nyami as man. Hey, my Nyami too many, my Nyimpe be yeni. Oh, you're the Nyami as. Nyami, oh, you're not as a care monso. There's a saying that if God is prospering your neighbor, then he's in your vicinity. That's right. You understand? Yeah. So it's not like God does not has uh, answer prayers or God has favorites. No, the broken spirit. What's the broken spirit? A truly humble person. The person who believes that if not for God, where would I be? The person who truly believes that God is going to bless me so I can help other people. Mm. God knows tomorrow. He knows what silver lady, which will come to pass, you know, millions of dollars are. Amen. What is she going to use it for? God knows. You understand? Yeah. And to come here one hour. I know you say these things a lot. Yaka, pa. I look bumpy in the crowd. Jab you or no? I'm a man of God. I'm a prophet. I've seen. I've seen God use me to do many miracles for the people, many testimonies. And you see that when once the the breakthrough comes, mm. that's the last time you see them in your service. Mm. Once the person gets a miracle, once the person gets a certain, that's the last time you see them. Then now, the next time you are having a conference, oh, we are busy. This is the person who will say, hey, na, yanko pono bandena itum, Asia, the most may see them. So, one of your breakthroughs can actually be a testing tool to your destiny. Okay. God could easily do that. God, you could be praying for 5,000, God will give you 50,000. Or Only 50,000, or you're then. Only car, no bus, or 6 a.m. Only a car bus on 10 p.m. 10 a.m. Why late? Because you know, I was busy, there was traffic. Only car, no bus, 6 a.m. I missed all the traffic. So, the character and the attitude of mm. a person mm. before the deity you call God is what brings your answers. It's not about how long you pray and how long you are, you know. People pray a lot. People pray. Debbie, Debbie. On your one Python, on your one Unke Kemuna. No. Again, I have a, I had a boss, you know, in Barclays Bank those times. He would tell me that, you know, me when I pray, I pray for like five minutes, ten minutes, and I get everything I want. Eh. And I was wondering, at the time I was, I was not a prophet. I was not even a Christian. But I was wondering, why did he say that? But it makes sense to me today. Why? Because... I got to understand the heart of the boss. This is the same boss I say will tell me to go to his drawer. Uh, oh, a giver. So, nyamishra na, obosu ye mu biye do. Nti oko nyamini nyim nore bompaya, nyamini nyim. Ah, isi me si, mem tu ninsi ma, obosu nko afu wado. You understand? So, when you see very rich people giving a lot, giving, there's a reason. You know, so it's not, like I said, you can qualify yourself to be a candidate of God, God's favor. So much so that people begin to say, and I'm a testimony of that. My life is like that. Hey. Oh, yes. Baby, what do you do? What do you do? Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you. Because I have managed by the grace of God and by the wisdom of the fathers I have met and I've submitted myself to. And by the way, my, my spiritual father is Apostle Francis Amuakwanta. Oh, okay. You know, by their wisdom, we are able to qualify ourselves as candidate of God's favor. Mm. Sometimes it's by service. Awesome. Awesome. The, awesome. Akuma pa edizinya edesunyi pa na nyaku pon na ngosra wono don osum oma abotel these are things these are variables that actually qualifies your prayer it's not just your prayer you know we pray but the disciples of Jesus right they were praying 
But they went to Jesus and they said, teach us how to, to pray. pray. Like John the Baptist's disciples. Teach us. They were already praying. But they realized that different. You know? So their idea was that maybe there is a certain manner. So God began to, God and Jesus began to teach them the, the statutes or the what you call the formula or the manner of prayer. Our Father who art in heaven. It's not prayer. It's a formula. It tells you the heart you have. Before you begin to pray, give re relevance, reverence, and thanksgiving and gratitude to the reason why you are even living God. In the actual Bible, my uncle points to that. I command all your humado, a prideful heart, I resist. So many of us Christians, on your bones, I'm telling you, oh, your uncle point. Papa, I said, Missing day. I am a Christopher. I want to pay me picking if I am a Christopher. Portunio. Yemu bebre, I didn't say yam pie bottom pool. Yen your answers, no own sip, own sido. The reason why we don't even get our answers in prayer as we expect is the pride in our hearts. Obitum wish I was a small boy. You know, I was for a small boy. You know, a small boy in the things of God, and still you are struggling. You know, so the pride of your heart, and God says that if you have that kind of heart, personally I resist you, not the devil. So you can fast, you can break bottles, you can die by fire. It is God you are dealing with, and what is God dealing with? Your pride. If you so sometimes in your pain and in, in our pain and in our anguish and in our difficulty, what God is actually looking for us to do is to break us a broken spirit, is to take out that pride out of our hearts.